Alright boys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Today, I will be showing you guys how to use remote events to add currency to a leaderboard and have it save. So let's get right into it. So I seem to be getting a lot of comments on the data store plugin not working. And when I always ask, well, do you add the currency from the server or do you add it locally? They always say they add it locally. So that's your problem. So the data store can't pick up values that are added locally, only on the server. And a way to get values from the client, which is locally, to the server is called the remote event right here, one of these bad boys. So let me show you how I did this. So as you can see, when we play the game, basically you click like a lot, get a lot of big boy clicks, click stop, and you run it again, and it should save. Okay, so it's not saving in studio, so let me just open the roblox game itself God, I hate how it doesn't save in studio so as you can see when i join i instantly have the 13 clicks it just didn't save in studio why does it do that i, I don't know so i can click as much as oh, oh what the whoopsie doos all right so why is this button always goofy but as you can see whenever we click we get big boy clicks big monies all right that's very good that is very good all right now let me show you when you leave because my awesome data store plugin, you should totally get it, link in the description. It will save, as you can see. And now, I will show you guys how I did it. So let's open Roblox Studio. It's a uh, full screen, this bad boy. And let's fix this stupid button first. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get rid of all of these bad boys. So I'll just group them, leave them in the workspace so nobody can see them or worry about them. Basically, remote events, they can be fired from the server and be received on the client, or they can be fired on the client and received on the server. To get inputs from a player, it's typically done locally. And so I will show you how to do that. So let's import a screen GUI into the star GUI. I'll rename it. Uh, click and then I'll give it a text button and this can be any button just as long as it's a button and then I'll scale it to how I like so 50 by 50 and then I'll just make it a little bigger and then what I'll do is I'll go to plugins and I'll go to this auto scale and I'll just scale both of these to make sure that it looks good I'll just make this look a little fancy that looks pretty good so let's get to work on how to make this be able to click all right so I've inserted a local script into this text button now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get the remote event oh wait where's the what event? I don't know. It's not a, a little, but I didn't even add it yet. So what do you gotta do? In replicated storage. Make sure it's replicated storage. Add a remote event and rename it to whatever you want. I'll name this one clickaroo. And then let's define the remote event in the script. So local remote event equals game colon get service replicated storage colon wait for child click. Boom. You guys know how to reference variables, hopefully. What we're going to do is we're going to do script.parent, which will reference the button, dot mouse button one click. That is a built-in function for all buttons. Clone connect function. Now we can detect when it's clicked. And to make sure this works, we will run a print clicked in that function. And as you can see, it clicks. Perfect. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire the, the remote event. Now, what this means is I will do remote event colon fire server. Now you can send any parameters in here. That means like whatever currency you want to give. So let's say you want to like put a currency in here equals clicks. So maybe you can change that for some time. You can run through the currency. And then when it's picked up on the server, it will also get that variable currency. So now let's insert a script into the server script service to be able to receive this remote. I'm just going to copy this remote event so we have the remote. Now I'm going to do remote event dot on server event called connect function. And now in these parameters here, you instantly have to get the player that it is from. You don't have to define the player in here, but you have to pick it up on here. So player and then comma and then the argument pass is currency. So now pick this up as currency. Now you can do print player dot name dot dot wants to add and then dot dot currency and now we'll watch as it says fuzzlea wants to add clicks kaboomy woomies it has worked and you can click as much as you want so you can see right now that when i'm clicking there is no stopping me it is just constantly going up now that can be good for some games but some games you don't want people to just be able to auto click and be able to get the most money possible and now a way to fix that is a debounce so what you're gonna do in this local script is do local debounce is equal to false and then local cooldown is equal to however long you want them to wait before clicking again so also mine do a quarter of a second and i'm going to do um if debounce equals equals false then we'll do debounce equals true and then task dot wait cooldown and then debounce equals false now what this 
task.wait does, it basically waits using delta time instead of using player time. So player time would be like wait one, that this wait would accommodate for lag. Let's say you had a wait 10 seconds. From this 10 seconds, let's say in the middle of this 10 seconds, you end up lagging. The player ends up lagging for some reason. But this time would stop and wait for that lag to stop and then it'll resume. What task.wait does is it ensures that it does not wait for stupid lag and stupid miss inputs. Better practice to use task.wait. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this remote event and I'm going to fire it right after we do debounce equals true. And then let's try it again. Let's just see what happens. Fuzzly wants to add clicks and now if I were to spam it, as you can see, it's not going up as fast, but it is pretty hard to see the demon still working. So I'll just make the cooldown a little bigger, like maybe one second, and then I'll put my mouse really close to the mic so you guys can hear. As you can see, it's not going up as much as I'm clicking because there's a demon. Works perfectly. Now I'm just gonna set this back to 0.25 and boom. Now that's basically how to use remote events, but I will show you guys how to add currency. So let's rename the scripts just to say organized. Click server and click local. So now in here we get the player, right? So that's perfect. So what I want to do is I'm going to do local currency to add equals player colon find first child currency and then comma true. Now this will search through the player and find the first child that is named this and it'll keep searching until it finds it that's what that true does so now i'm gonna do currency to add if currency to add currency to add dot value plus equals one now you can have this value to whatever and if you have like rebirths you can do times rebirth dot value you can do this to whatever this is just how much will be added to the player okay so now that we are done with that basically you might be wondering well the player doesn't have any currency how how do we do that how do we add a leaderboard well if you don't know already you can go down to the link in the description to pick up oh my goodness gracious stupid plugin you can pick up this data store plugin for free to create free data stores so let's create it and let's name it leader stats and then reopen it and let's insert a number value called clicks into leader stats with a value of zero now we have got this that is that is perfect now let's play and test and see if it is added to the leaderboard perfect so it works as you can see and if we click it clicks perfectly and then we get out it might not save because it is studio it says save data correctly so it is added to the data store but I'm not sure if it, okay, perfect. So it's saved in studio, nice. And boom, that is basically how to do remote events. And if you guys did like this video, then make sure to hit that subscribe button. We have grown so much, it is insane. We are at 118 subscribers. That is insane. I just hit 100, like literally two videos ago. That is insane, much love to you guys, as usual. And so as I promised, I'm doing a 800 Robux giveaway. Uh, you can join, link in the description, or you can go over to my Twitter, pull this bad boy up. You can go to my Twitter here and go to this, this pin tweet right here and enter, and it's in the comments, comment down your Roblox name and your YouTube username so I can check if you're sub to me, obviously. And then boom, that's basically it. That is literally how you enter the giveaway and hopefully you win 800 Robux, who knows? 118 subs, that is just insane. So thank you guys so much. We have officially passed Eric Anse, and guess what? He deleted all of his content because he's scared of me i have scared him to the point where he deleted all his content all right destroyed kid destroyed i'm literally jumping around taking the l on you right now as we speak I'm dancing on you anyways guys uh thank you for all the support it's been crazy and if you guys want more tutorials on something like this something scripting wise then make sure to leave it in the comments below so yeah i'll see you all in the next one beautiful video absolutely beautiful i